You are listening to The Art of Sales. Everyone sells every day. And this is your source for conversational, real-world sales and prospecting methods that you are comfortable using and that get results. You'll help people buy instead of pushing them into being sold. Here's your host, Art Subcheck. So here's a situation I heard several times when I was reviewing recorded phone calls from salespeople prior to doing a training program. That's something I always do in order to hear what salespeople are saying prior to putting together the customized training for them. All right, so here, here's what I heard. A prospect said, ah, we're not ready yet. Give me a call back later in the quarter. And the sales rep said, oh, okay, well, uh, how, how, about, um, how about the last week of December? Prospect said, sure, yeah, go ahead. Here's another one. Well, we're still giving it some consideration. We're just not ready yet. And the sales rep said, oh, okay, well, how about if I call you back in a couple of months? And the prospect said, yeah, that's fine. Here's another one. Prospect said, yeah, it's not a good time right now, maybe later. And the sales rep said, well, how about I check back with you in uh, first quarter of next year? Prospect said, yeah, okay. Okay, have you, did you notice the trend here? What's happening? In all these situations, the salesperson is no is, is in no better of a position after the call than he was before it. And actually, he or she was worse off since now they had scheduled a follow-up call to a person who may never buy anything or whom they may never even speak with again. And this is part of the reason why some salespeople are always busy but never show any real results. And then it gets worse over time. In each situation, the salesperson validated the delay by suggesting a callback time instead of focusing on the reason for any possible interest and also the delay. So I've got two rules here. I suggest that you follow two very basic premises. Number one, if you're ultimately going to get a no, it's so much better to hear it today than six weeks or six months or six calls from now, right? And number two, if you're placing a follow-up call, let's know why. I mean, think about this. If you allow someone to put you off and you ultimately hear a no on the very next call, again, if you're lucky to actually get them on the next call, you likely didn't just waste that one additional call. I mean, think about really, realistically, how many attempts it might have taken you to finally reach them. And then to to really magnify this, multiply that number by the number of times you let somebody put you off over the course of a month or of a year. And I mean, when you do the math on this, that's mind boggling, the amount of time that you're wasting by accepting somebody's put off. All right, so what should we do? Well, again, let's find out why they say what they do. Don't dwell on the when of a callback. Instead, focus on why they feel a callback would even be necessary. So let's take each of those examples and give better responses. So the prospect said, we're not ready yet. Give me a call back later in the quarter. Sales rep should say, I'd be happy to give you a call back. So tell me, what's going to make that a better time for you? What's going to have to happen for you to move on it? Prospect says, Well, we're still giving it some consideration, just not there yet. Sales rep, oh, I see. What is it that you're considering? And then the last one, it's not a good time now, maybe later. Oh, okay. What's going to make later a better time for you? So notice again that we're trying to understand the reason for the delay and we're using their words whenever possible. And by the way, don't be thinking that this approach is pushy. It's not. It's simply businesslike. Yeah, sure, it's direct, But again, this is business. If there is a future event that would make later a better time for them, hey, so be it. Let's just find out what it is. All right. Hey, you know what time it is. Your attitude will be I am. Never will, never feel. What they say is the art of the sales. Quote of the day. That's right. It's time for the quote of the day. Today's quote comes from Courtney Stevens, who's an author. And uh, Courtney's quote ties into what we were just talking about. And that is, if nothing changes, nothing changes. If you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to keep getting what you're getting. And if somebody continues to just give us a delay and we don't find out what's going to be different about that delay, nothing has changed, right? 
Hey, if you're getting value from this show, would you let a couple other people know? Send them to our show site, theartofsales.com, theartofsales.com. They'll appreciate it, and so will I. Until next time, go out and make it your best sales day ever. I'm Art Subcheck.